media zip zebra, aspiring comic, mediocre zebra, and part-time salad dish here for your listening pleasure. Not that any pleasure. You didn't pay enough to get the all-you-can-throw buffet. Besides, it isn't FDA approved. So, everyone says, what's that zany zebra up to now? To which I say, glad you asked. I need to get new writers. I know what they say about a hundred monkeys pounding on typewriters, but this material ain't Shakespeare. And I'm not Hamlet, even if I do die on stage every night. So I'm hiring a duck. Psst, want to buy some cheap typewriters? You know, I worry that my career is on the skids. I mean, I ain't got as many laughs yet from my audience as I did that first one back home on the savannah. At this rate, I may be back there again playing for the hyenas. But I got some good things going for me. Folks are saying, zip, that stuff you spout makes no sense. To which I reply, if it made sense, it wouldn't be funny. And with what I got, I'm funnier than anything this side of a campaign speech. Some pollster asked me what I look for in a candidate. I said, I'm not sure if they're better alive or dead. Don't bother me about details. Ain't none of them got stripes. And they can't change us no how, even if Zelda paints hers. Gonna have to stay out of the army, though. Zach tried it and got kicked. He forgot you're not supposed to have more stripes than the top sergeant. Having two left feet doesn't help either. And we'll not even go into the weight rules. Yeah, Zane set the record for weight in my herd. We used his footprints for watering holes. And when it got dry, hunters used them for pit traps. Once he got lost near a volcano, and the game wardens found him using a seismograph. We always worried he might roll over in his sleep and made sure we slept on his uphill side. His mama got upset at him and was going to kick his backside. She circled around toward it, and we never saw her again. Of course, some things take even longer to get where they're going. I'd include me in that. But since I don't know where I'm going with any of this, I don't know when I get there. So I just keep going and going and uh, etc. Of course, there was the Dalmatian and his friends that would march in single file around in circles. They'd sell the pictures to insurance companies. You know, the ones that had you sign on the dotted line. Oh, uh, wait, that should be spotted. Or was that potted? No, nah, that was me the last time I tried that joke on stage. Uh, does anyone want to buy a geranium cheap? You know, even with the occasional geranium, I can handle just about anything that comes my way. I'm fine when life gives me lemons, even the raspberry. But some of this stuff I never heard of. Never get pelted with tofu. Then there's that yellow green stuff that I don't know what it is, but it ain't good for eating, I know that much. Sometimes I don't know whether I'm on stage or dumpster diving. I've played in some real dives, but I stay away from the ones with water. Getting pelted by stale cigarettes is one thing, but no way I'm going near the shark tank. Ever hear of One Arms are Red? No? Now you know why. One's career hits new lows at that point, and it don't get much better. So keep counting your fingers and toes, kitties. Until next time, happy Z's, y'all.